In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a simple but very, very effective yard gainer that can really help you, I think, a ton when you're trying to really just move the ball up and down the field against the defense. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player. Now, if you've not met me before, my name's Cody. Great to meet you. And I just want to let you know that the offense that we're going to be sharing with you today is the bunch tight end offense. And if you have not already gotten my full bunch tight end offensive ebook, it is the best offense in the game. It is one of the hardest. I believe it is the hardest offense to stop in the game. And so if you haven't picked up the ebook yet, it is just $15. It's in the description for you. And if you have any questions about it, you can just text me. My number it will be in the top left-hand corner. But this has been a very very effective passing offense um for the last month or so. A lot of people have been really really enjoying this. You know, most people use bunch tight end as a gimmick, but I believe that it is actually more effective if you use it as an entire offensive system. So that being said, we're going to be jumping into today's video. And again, I just wanted to share with you um, just a simple um, a simple yard gainer that is really, really good. It's, it's kind of something that you can use when you start to force them to have to run a lot of different types of zone coverage and really also man coverage as well. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to use um, some of these really, really powerful curl routes that come with the bunch tight end. Um, and the route that we're going to be um, talking about today is going to be the inside switch. I really like this play. Um, you could also do a similar concept from the play X spot, um, but we're going to be utilizing the inside switch today. Okay, so how this is going to work is we're going to essentially work the curl routes. That's really all we're going to do. Um, we're going to have one man read, um, really, really only one, only one or maybe two man reads that we're going to really hit on. Um, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to take Aaron Jones, we're going to put him on an option route. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the tight end. Um, and we can really do whatever we want with him. What I like to do with the tight end is I like to put him on simply a flat route or a block and release flat route or a block and release fade. You know, I the reason I like a flat route is because it's going to help um, the running back. If there's any zones over there, the running back will get wide open. Um, another thing that I like to do is on this left side here, I really like to take Tavon Austin and essentially just leave him on his flat because it's going to help space the field a lot. Now, uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to share with you a couple of different strategies and why this works really well. So the first thing is a lot of people are going to run this defense. I can almost guarantee you if you run this offense, you're going to see something like this right here. And essentially what it is is it is a Mabel coverage. So uh, we've got Mabel on both sides. And this is just all you're going to do from a setup perspective. You're just going to flat the, t flat the tight end, option route the running back. That's pretty much it. And then we're going to motion out of Scantling. Now, what I like to do is I like to get him out there because I don't want their user to be able to guard both the running back and the, um, the post route. So we're going to motion him out to the numbers, and we're going to snap the ball. And what you're going to notice here is this post route is going to come at a very deep depth. A lot of times what people are going to do with their user is they're going to be waiting on the delay fade or they're, they're going to be kind of leveraging the delay fade, really. And so what I, what I like to do with this is basically, as you're going to see here, it depends on how many yellow zones that they're going to have on the field. But really, normally they're going to have just one. Okay, Most people, the way they're going to defend bunch tight end, they're going to have literally just one yellow zone. And this yellow zone is going to have to choose between whichever one of the two that he wants to take. You see, he can't take both. He can kind of sit in between, but he can't really take both. Now, the beauty of this is that was a mid uh, a three rat cook zone. Now, what I want to do is I want to share with you um, another type of zone that you're going to get, and that's going to be vertical hook zones okay vertical hook zones so uh, what a vertical hook zone is going to do is a vertical hook zone is going to play more to the outside he's not going to play over the middle of the field as much he's going to play more to the outside so the reason that that matters is if you watch how this play works 
you're going to have relatively good spacing. You're going to see here relatively good. See, see the vertical hooks don't necessarily guard that, but they also aren't going to guard the post route on the back end of the defense. You're going to be able to hit that post route. So you have options from this play really to do anything that you want against uh, zone coverage. Now, the beauty is, well, let's say, well, what if they run shaded coverage down man coverage? Well, the beauty of this play is this has built into it a couple of different routes that are going to be able to beat man. First and foremost, your option route to your running back is going to cut to the outside and beat every, I mean, he will typically torch man, especially if you put the backfield um, mismatch ability on him. That's why Aaron Jones is so effective in regs, um, because if people try to just sit in man coverage, you're going to be able to kill them uh, with this with this offense. The next thing is this post route is going to beat man to the inside. As you can see right there, he's able to very easily and very consistently beat the man-to-man -man coverage. And then the last route that I really wanted to show you as far as man-to-man -man coverage goes is this route to triangle. Now, this triangle is where is going to be or your best receiver. Okay, That's where you're going to put your best receiver on this play. Um, and so what you're going to do is, and if you're on Xbox, it would be the Y button. But essentially, it's just a low ball. Right there on the cut, he's going to roast him. And as you can see, it's wide open pass. So you have multiple options if they do decide to run man-to-man -man coverage. Now, one little thing that you can do is let's say that you know for a fact, beyond a shadow of a doubt, you know it is zone coverage. right? Then I will do one other adjustment. I will take the... If I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that it is man coverage, then I will take the square receiver or the, if you're on Xbox, it will be the X receiver, and I will take him and I will basically put him on a curl route and motion him to the left. And now what you'll see is all the zones will fall backwards and you can either hit the flat zone or you can hit the curl, the curl, um, or I'm sorry, you can hit the flat route or the curl route depending on what they do. So, you know, this is a really, really good concept for things like Babel coverage because, you know, you're going to be able to really work the ball up and down the field. Now, the other thing you could do with the running back that I don't talk about a ton is you can smart route the R1. And as you'll see here, he's going to go about a 15-yard curl route is what that's really practically going to turn into. So now it even makes your spacing that much better, um, especially for how this is going to work because a lot of people, what they like to do, is they like to basically take their their defense essentially, and they're going to put the hook zones on yellow, or um, they're going to put their hook curls on five yards, right? That's one of the more popular adjustments. Well, what you can do to counter that is you can run these smart routed curl routes um, at you know ten to fifteen yards, and now all of a sudden, if you take a look, there's going to be nobody on the running back. He gets at such a deep depth, they can't fall back there. And so now you have a really, really good uh, combination as well. So anyways, that is a little bit about the bunch tight end offense. If you are interested, the full scheme is just 15 bucks. We show you how to bomb every coverage, shows you how to literally just walk up and down the field on your opponent. And also, if you are curious, maybe you're on the fence, maybe you don't want to get the ebook, and I understand that then I would encourage you to pick up a sample copy of the ebook. It's completely free. I've released a one hour free sample preview of the ebook. Um, and all you got to do to get it is just text me. So you just pull out your cell phone and just text me. My cell phone number is 812-216-3644. That's my personal cell phone number. So if you have any questions, you can also um, ask me there. But that is a way that you can get a free sample. I haven't released a sample to my um, to the public yet. I've just released it via the text message membership. So um, if you have not texted me, be sure to do that so you can get that free sample. And again, if you are interested, if you want to take your offense to the next level, if you're tired of getting beat by match coverage or zone coverage or zone drops or anything or getting blitzed, this offense is amazing. It beats everything. It beats the blitz. It beats everything that people can do defensively, in my opinion. And so if you want to get that ebook, that link is in the description. And again, it's just 15 bucks. Thanks for your time, and we'll see you guys um, tonight on stream.